Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be installing this here set of street legal uh, LED headlights, taillights and turn signals on my club car golf cart. Now this is actually a carry off fix but uh, it's the same process for any club car golf cart so stick around and we'll get them installed. Let's start by unboxing everything and seeing what we get. Like we've got a set of instructions along with the screws and uh, zip ties, both of the tail lights, wiring harness, a horn, those are the headlights here, that's the switch for the brakes. Here's a steering cowl and the turn signals and more wiring. Start by installing the two LED headlights into the front body. Now, as you can see, I've obviously got the front body off of the golf cart. And uh, I'll just go ahead and tell you that that is not a step that you need to take. Um, that is not necessary for installing the headlights. I already had the front body off because I've been doing a little bit of body work and painting it. But if you were just going to be installing the headlight kit, there's no need to take the front body off. I've done this kit several times with the body on and it doesn't make it any more difficult. And you can also see that there are already holes cut out from the previous headlight kit. Um, these holes in this body are not the exact fit for these new headlights that they give us. But uh, they're, they're close enough that we can make them work. Um, if your golf cart doesn't already have holes in it, the kit comes with a little template that you'll tape on, trace out the headlight shape, and then cut that out with a jigsaw or a Dremel or any tool like that. So I'm just going to go ahead and screw these headlights into the existing holes with the screws that they give us. So as you can see, the headlight does fit in the hole, it's not an exact fit, like I'm not going to be able to get that fourth screw to grip on anything, and there's a little bit of a corner here from the previous factory kit, but it is doable and it does fit, and it really doesn't look bad from far away. Same thing there, nothing over the fourth hole but they're definitely not going to fall out and like I said it looks much better than nothing alright let's go lay out the wiring harness and get started on the tail lights and turn signals so before we lay out all the wiring harness and everything I figured we'll just attach some of the little things now that will make it easier for us later we can just plug everything up and go And then I'm going to move over here and install the brake light switch. And that's really easy. That just is this little switch I was showing you right here. And it just sits right on the brake pedal like this. And I will say I did have to notch this out with an X-Acto knife. So I just cut this corner off. Um, there would have been one more screw here, but it didn't fit on my pedal with the brake lock lever being right there. So... I did notch that out. So we'll just take these little tiny short screws they give us. And all we do with this is just screw them right into the rubber pad on this pedal. Just like that. You can see all I do is just kind of get them gripped into the rubber a little bit. Not super strong, but I've never had one fall off. So for the tail lights, since they are not already cut out like they were on the front, We'll just do what you would normally do in the front and use this little template they give us and mark out the area that we need to cut out for the tail lights. Just going to hold this up like this and kind of trace around the inside. Okay. 
And this is just plastic, so I'm gonna use a jigsaw cutter, which is what I found works best. And I'll just drill a couple small holes in the corners so I could turn turn the corners with the blade without having to go outside of my line here. And the last step before we can go ahead and hook everything up is just to drill a small hole in the dash for this hazard light switch. And there's already a small hole there from the last switch, but it's not big enough. So I'm just gonna enlarge it until it is 15, 30 seconds, I believe it is. And the easiest way I found to do that is just with a step bit. That'll work, we'll just screw the plastic nut on from the back side and then we can wire everything up. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do is install this box with the turn signals and everything here on the dash. And these just go on with two little clamps that they include. So we'll take these screws out and put them on over the steering column. That just sits on right here under the steering wheel. It's a little bit tricky to get all the screws in, but it's a nice tight fit when we've got them all tight. Get one there. Yeah, that's good and tight. We'll just snap on this cover they give us. There we go. And they also give us this cover here for the steering column. Once we run all the wires through, first I'm gonna go ahead and get all this wiring through here. It can be a little bit tricky. Get it through that foam cover, but we'll push it through there and then hook everything up. All right, as you can see, I've got the uh, wires for the turn signals going down the steering column and through the dash here now and i've got this little cover installed which looks really good now i can go ahead and connect this box with the relay and all the connectors and i've got the connector right down here from where i pulled it through the dash and uh, we can also connect these three wires right here that are on this little harness here to the back of the hazard light switch so we have yellow and blue and black and then go just in that order on the switch with black being on bottom right across from the little LED that they have on the switch. So yellow on top, then blue, and then black. And I'll just kind of zip tie this little box somewhere to the frame here. Should be good now. So if you'll come up front, you'll see that I connected that nine pin connector right here. They attach the two harnesses together. And I'm also going to attach the black and purple wires here to the back of the horn. Just like that. And the only two we have left up here are these for the two headlights. Now you might notice we have three last wires that we pulled up front. Um, I'm not exactly sure what the black and the red wires are for. Those are actually not used in this kit. Uh, I think different model golf carts have different uh, 
bright options for the lights or something. I'm not exactly sure. I think they have a universal wiring harness for several of their kits. But the third wire is this blue one here. And that connects to this last purple wire out of the four that we had going to the the um, hazard light switch. Only three of them were used. So we'll use this last purple one that says upgrade headlight power. And we'll plug that into the blue one underneath here. And that's all we do for the front. I'll have to tie all this stuff up, make it nice and neat. And we won't use these black and red ones for this kit. And now for plugging in the brake lights, it's really easy. It's just two wires, as you'll see here. If you see here, it's pretty simple. We've got these two wires hanging beneath the cart that we did earlier on the brake switch. And there's these three connectors. Again, the black one is not used. And the yellow one plugs right into this black wire here. The orange wire connects to the black wire. Just like that. So before we wire up the light gate to the batteries, the only last thing we have to connect is the uh, tail lights themselves. And you can see the plug sticking out right back there uh, in front of the rear bumper. So I've got the harness kind of pulled up through the cart. And I'm gonna go ahead and connect this red one to the red one here on the left, or on the right from the front of the cart. And the white one to the other side and then we'll hook it up to the batteries. So the last thing we have to do is hook these two wires up to the batteries. So if this were the gas cart, we would just have one 12 volt battery. So we would just plug these right into the positive and negative of the battery. But since this is a 48 volt electric cart, obviously we can't do that with just one battery. That would only be eight volts. So we have to cut these two ring terminals off and just connect it to a voltage reducer so that we've only got 12 volts. As you can see, we've got both working front LED headlights and back here, the tail lights, which are also brake lights. So when you push the brakes, those will get a little bit brighter. And we've got turn signals and hazard lights. And one thing I like about this kit is that those little blinkers are on a 30 second timer. So if you get up and bump this, as you're getting up by mistake, that'll automatically shut off within a few seconds so you don't just sit there and drain your batteries all day so i hope some part of this video was helpful to you if it was please like it and leave a comment and if you consider subscribing that would help me out a lot all right we'll see you in the next one